I'm sick and tired of people telling me that I've got it easy because I'm light skinned. Or I don't know what it's like to be black because apparently I'm only half black. Hmm. I remember asking uh, my best friend. Now, my best friend's a dark skinned guy. He's actually Nigerian. And I remember saying to him, you know, we were messing around and, you know, we playing around. I said, yo, bro, like, can you fight? And he stopped and laughed and he said, to be honest, he doesn't really know. You don't know what you mean you don't know? He said, I've never had to. Like, there's a stereotype that comes with him being dark skinned that people automatically assume because he's dark skinned that he's aggressive, he's a thug, like, he's abusive, he'll fight, he's a criminal, you know. He's greasy. And I know this brother, I've known this brother all my life, and I know he's nothing like that. He's a very calm, docile brother. Now, if you'd have asked me that question, I would have answered it very differently. Angel, can you fight? I'd have said, yeah, I could fight, I could throw these hands, because I've had to. All my life, I've had to fight. Why? Mainly because I'm light-skinned. Mainly because I'm mixed. Right? People feel that, you know, when I was growing up, people always like, oh, he's light-skinned, so, you know, we can try to rob him, we could beat him up, we could clown him, we could bully him. And I couldn't have that. So I had to constantly prove myself, constantly earn my stripes, constantly step up to the plate and defend myself all the time. It became second nature to me. I didn't even look at it as being something, you know, something that was wrong or something that was an issue when I was growing up. I saw it as this is what happens when you're light-skinned. When you're a light-skinned man or a light-skinned black man or a mixed man, this is what you have to do. You get clowned, you get called in, oh, you light-skinned, or you got that, you know, you, you a slave, you got that white mass of blood and you were strong and you, or, you know. I heard you albino, fucking albino nigga. Your problem is you got an inferiority complex. Don't blame me for that shit. I'm not the reason you look like a fucking cracker, nigga. Dr. Umar ain't the reason you look like a fucking cracker. Every time you look in the mirror, you see a cracker, nigga. Every time you look in the mirror, you see a cracker, nigga. So you got to go extra hard because you're trying to prove to yourself that you're a black man. I ain't got that problem. I'm melanated, bitch. I'm melanated, bitch. When I look in the mirror, I see a black man. When you look in the mirror, you see a cracker, nigga. Oh, you a bitch, nigga. You a pussy. All of these things. Look at the memes. Type in light skin niggas be like, and look at the memes. See how they deal with us. They think that we're weak, that we're soft, that we're bitches, and that we're pussy. So for me growing up, I had to defend myself, and this is all I have known. And it's no different on social media, constantly having to defend myself, constantly having to drop videos left, right, up, down, all the time, right? I remember being 18 years old and dating a very beautiful girl. I go into the store. And these three dark skin guys are trying to talk to her. She's like, no, she got a man and her man's coming out of the store right now. When I come out, they come up to me and one of them turns on me and says, I don't like light skin dudes. I can't stand you. Now I knew I was going to have to fight. And I said, okay, that's what's up. It's your business. Then he pulls out a knife, put it right here by my face and says, what would you do if I cut your pretty little red face? You are jealous because I have a woman who's very beautiful. And you hate the fact that she's with me. and I'm a light-skinned guy. And you can't get the phone number. Now, the irony was that she was also light-skinned. We were about the same complexion. Okay. Or when I came out the barbershop and I had my fresh shape up, and these two guys are like, Darcy guys again, you a bitch. Look at this pretty bitch. They don't know me. I haven't done anything to them. I didn't look at them no funny way. I was young. I didn't look at them no. I came out of the barbershop, you know, I'm dusting the hair off my uh, shirt. Does that make sense? That you're just going to attack me? What, because I'm pretty? What? Right. Or walking home late at night and having dudes look at me and talk shit and be like, look at this light-skinned nigga. I can't fucking stand light-skinned niggas. And if you, 
Like, I really hope that there's some light skinned dudes watching this video that can really relate and tell you that what I'm saying is not a fallacy. This is fact, okay? And some of us are not raised to be soft. Some of us, like the neighborhood that I'm from, I'm from Marcy. I'm from bed -Stuy. The neighborhood that I'm raised, you can't be like that. You can't be a weak link. You can't let people take advantage of you. So I've had to fight. I didn't even see this as being anything, like anything unusual. This was simply how it was growing up for me because because I was light-skinned or I was mixed, right? So apparently I have it easy because I'm light-skinned. To be honest, I feel like I would have had an easier life had I came out dark-skinned or had um, my mother not been Puerto Rican or had my mother been dark-skinned as well, right? Because if I was a dark-skinned guy, all I would really have to put up with is racist white people, white supremacy, oppression. But as a light-skinned man or a mixed black guy, I have to put up with all that, all of that plus abuse from my own people. And it only ever seems to come from dark-skinned men. I don't get abuse from dark-skinned women. I don't get abuse from light-skinned men. I don't get abuse from light-skinned women, mixed people. I get abuse from dark-skinned men. So I have to admit, I would have probably preferred to have come out dark-skinned. Because at the moment, I'm caught up in the middle of this bullshit. You know, white people want to attack me. Black people want to attack me. And to be honest, I never, I've never really had a huge issue. Like, with, you know, you get the whole white supremacy, the oppression, the racism. Never really had, I've never had a fight with a white person, ever. But I've had a hell of a lot of fights with my own people. You know, whether they be Puerto Ricans, Jamaicans, African Americans, anything that is of the African diaspora, I've had issues with because I'm light skinned or because I'm mixed. Oh, and if you think I have it easy with police, then you're a fool. You need to walk a day in my shoes to truly understand what it's like. That it's not all roses and women throwing themselves at you and automatically being born with 5,000 Instagram followers. Get into the real world. Or when, you know, when people now, when I make videos and they, oh, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's only half black. Or, you know, yeah, his dad's black, but his mom's Puerto Rican. Yeah. My mother's Puerto Rican, yes. So because my mother's Puerto Rican, what, that means I'm not black? Because I've never seen a Puerto Rican woman that looks like this who's white. I swear sometimes we live in a world full of fools and full of idiots. Like, it drives, <laughs> you know. Okay. If it's easier for light-skinned women than it is for dark-skinned women, then you best believe that it's easier for dark-skinned black men than it is for light-skinned black men. You might not agree with me, but I'm a living, walking experience of this. This is exactly how I see it. It's like, you know, let's look at YouTube. For example, with YouTube, okay. Throughout this whole thing with social media, YouTube, when I started making videos and when I started writing posts and things like that, when I look at my comment section, from black women, there's nothing but positive comments. Whether they be light skinned, dark skinned, brown skinned, mixed, nothing but positive comments. Okay? Even there's brothers out there that comment, you know, light skinned brothers. And, you know, and it's not all dark skinned brothers at all. I'm, I'm not saying it's all dark. Like, I get positive comments from dark skinned brothers too that show a lot of support. You know, and it's not all dark skin brothers at all. I'm, I'm not saying it's all dark. Like, I get positive comments from dark skin brothers, too, that show a lot of support. I'm just saying that the negative comments only ever seem to come from dark skin dudes. I get negative comments from white people, but I expect that. I expect negative comments from white people. But to have the negativity that gets thrown on me from dark skin men, and then I look at some of the videos that bash black women or bash dark skinned women. Who do they come from? They come from dark skinned black men. Right. So maybe dark skinned black women and light skinned black men are fighting the same battle.
sadly, it seems that we have the same enemy, the same guys that were attacking black women or say, you know, for saying, oh, Kendrick Lamar is a sellout because his fiance is light skinned or she's not black, she mixed. You know, he all about this black and the very the sweet of the Jew stuff, right? Those same black men that were attacking me were the same dark skin brothers that were actually showing support to his fiance, Whitney Alford. They were showing support to Whitney Alford. They were saying, no, she's black. Come on, she just light skin. Yeah, her mother's mixed, but her father's black. My mother's mixed. My father's black. But these same guys that will support Whitney Alford and stick up for her to the fullest against dark skinned women, they're not showing me the same support. They're not then saying, this brother's black. Come on, man. Yeah, he light skinned. Type in Whitney Alford. You see a huge difference? My hair is much curlier than hers. My hair is much thicker than hers. My lips are bigger than hers. We're the same complexion. But these same dark-skinned men defended her to the fullest against Rashida Strober. They were like, she's black. Come on, he's with a sister. She's black. The same dark-skinned men that say I'm not black. The same dark-skinned men that give me a problem. Is this an attraction thing? That people will only accept you into their race if they're attracted to you? Is that why these same purists or the brothers that are dark skinned that want to attack me or attack light skinned brothers will accept light skinned women or mixed black women as fully black? Right? I just want you to think about that. I understand the struggle that dark skinned black women have. And I see the struggle they, they have, and I'm aware of this struggle. I want a dark-skinned man to live a day in my shoes, a day in the shoes of a light-skinned man, and really find out what colorism is. Dark-skinned black women know what colorism is. Do you know why? Because they suffer it from other dark-skinned men. I'm not really, you know, maybe I'm just not seeing it, but I'm not seeing light-skinned women attacking dark-skinned women. And I'm not really seeing light-skinned men attacking dark-skinned men. But I'm seeing dark-skinned black men attack dark-skinned black women and light-skinned black men while uplifting light-skinned women and white women and everything else. That's my thoughts. And I, I just want you to think about it. Angel Ramirez Jordan. IKYG. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new, never before seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a black owned, black ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free, forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.